Hi and welcome to another video. In this video I just wanted to go through quickly and review the new instant guard feature that, um, that has been added under the uh, general settings and VPN. Um, so basically this is uh, Asus um, idea of allowing you to have just a one click version using their uh, app for iOS or Android and it is literally just click one button um, and it will automatically connect um, to your back to your router um, using a VPN. As you can see here, it's not many options allowing here and it's just got a short description of uh, what we were just saying. Uh, the basic configuration is you've got on off tab, the server IP address, so that will show your um, dynamic DNS address. So that's not your IP address, not the 192.168 or whatever. Is actually going to be your um, something dot uh, asus com dot com uh, address, so it's easy for it to remember. And and um, also you've got here a system log, and then connection status. Um, as you probably can see that the features here is is basically going to be very straightforward for people um, to use, and it's uh, going to be um, easy setup. So as we can see, to switch it on, um, this is from the uh, web interface. It doesn't disconnect your wireless devices uh, when you switch it on, so um, you don't need to worry about that. And as you can see, then it will display your server IP address, um, which is your dynamic DNS. And then the only other option there is the system log, so you can go click check log, and then you'll be able to see that it's uh, started up the um, uh, VPN and uh, from what I can see is uh, IPsec it doesn't say if it's version 1 or version 2 but it does automatically generate your certificates and a, a secret a shared key so you don't need to worry about anything like that and then it's got straightforward options at the bottom where you can cancel and close that window you can clear the log um, save it um, to your device or refresh it to see the latest information as I said, this is very straightforward. This is supposed to be something that is easy for people to be able to connect back to their router and use a VPN. As you can see there, you've got underneath the system log, you then you have your connection status. Um, so that will show you the remote IP, the client status, so it's connected, uh, access time, how long it's been connected, the device, and the, um, that's the pre-shared key as well, uh, time. So you can see there, it's got very straightforward information um, and you can access this. One thing um, I'm not too sure clear about is if it's an IPsec version one or version two, uh, it doesn't make it clear. And in some of the forums I've read up about is one of the issues right now seems to be a bug is that if you're using um, ver IP version four and version six, it seems to be leaking your version six uh, IP address. But again, this is for the home user. So if you're really worried about this, then it's best to set up your own VPN server using the uh, more advanced tab that you have available here. Um, once you do open this, I do believe under like in your administration tab, um, it does open up your um, web interface. So you, this interface here to the um, internet. Um, but if you've already using the apps already for Android, or iOS to access your router from um, outside the home, then you'll automatically have that on anyway. Uh, as you can see, um, if you do come to switch it off, um, if you if we go to switch it off, you will see a warning come up saying turn off the fe this feature will um, of uh, instant guard. It will disconnect them. Um, so it's just warning you there, and you can click um, on and off. So you can also within the app on the uh, on your uh, iOS or Android device. Um, so you can also have a look. So moving on to the uh, app where you, I'll show you how you can switch it on as well within the app instead of using the um, advanced options. Here. So now on the app, uh, so this is the iOS uh, version. Um, you can see, you can access and switch on Instant Guard as well if you're using the app so all you have to do is go to settings at the bottom 
and then you'll be able to scroll down as long as you've got the newest version of the app so as you can see you've got the options here so you can either search for it at the top or just scroll down a little bit and you'll see their instant guard there and you'll be able to switch the feature on if you haven't got the app installed already um, um, then it'll ask you to install the app as well on your device um, but if you do have it installed when you click on instant guard it'll bring so if we click on that it'll automatically bring up the instant guard app for you and as we said the instant app um, instant guard app is, is very straightforward you'll be able to you have literally have one button and it says it will try and connect to your uh, router and um, you'll be able to click one button and it will progress and connect if you do have any problems with this app um, then you can disconnect it and try and reconnect again but you have to be connected to your uh, Wi-Fi net home Wi-Fi network for it to be set up so all you do is you click the three little lines like hamburger site menu on the top uh, left hand side and then you'll see an unlink button on the right hand side of your uh, router and you can just click that and you'll say there uh, notice do you want to disconnect and you can click yes and then you can reconnect if you're having problems so that's the uh, straightforward way of switching it on and then once you've done that you'll be able to just quickly hit the hit the button and then it will start connecting and you'll see um, VPN uh, connection probably a symbol on the top toolbar of your device and it will show a timer and then it will show you here you're protected now and the progress when it connects again to disconnect all you have to do is kick the uh, button and you're disconnected it's very straightforward um, and everything else but so following on uh, just to summarize that is as you can see it is very straightforward to use that new feature my only issue is with the uh, uh, security is as it does say in your network protection when you've got one risk item here and when you go to scan it shows you your web access um, for the internet is open and normally they like to close it off but of course you've got to have that open to use the apps in the first place so you've got to balance it out in in theory will you be hacked or anything else and as long as you, you change the port numbers on your um, connecting to your uh, router and then you've done um, as much as you can i mean the chance of being hacked is quite slim but again there is a, always a chance but again um, it's over simply making it more simpler uh, for the end user so it's up to you what you prefer to do um, i personally with my one so because i don't like having that open i do have set up um, open vpn um, so that that's the most straightforward one for me and i can make it more advanced and more secure as well and it's as again it's near enough straightforward i create the options here um, i try and make it a bit more secure and then all i do is um, export the open vpn configuration file and i normally save it to like a the uh, google drive app on um, on my tablet or phone and then i can o open that up on the other device and then it will say open in like another app and i can just chose the open vpn and then just type in the username and password and it's all configured um, and it's straightforward and secure as well and it's to be honest it's more secure than having your um ac having access and everything else but as i said if you're using the device apps already to um, access your router from outside the home then uh, you'll have to have that open anyway so it's, it's up to you um, but it's just my personal preference i prefer instead of using the instant guard i use the open vpn as it's more secure and i um, and it's just as quick as well for me to be honest once it's set up it's set up um, and i can save my password and username on the app and it will just connect yeah, that's for ios and android and um, your ipads and tablets as well um so yeah so this has just been a uh, quick uh, video um, going through the um, options that you have uh, for the new instant guard um, so i hope you found this a little bit useful and again um, you can 
try it out and you can always just switch it off um, after you've used it or if you find it very useful you can download the app I think it's on the App Store and the Google Play Store uh, as usual if you have any issues then just leave your in, uh, question in the comments and I'll try and answer it right, thanks for watching and have a nice day